So today we're going to be discussing how to set up your OTDR with the correct pulse width uh, to be testing on the LFN part of the network. So as if you're testing from the DPU back to the FJL through a splitter, i.e. a BJL or maybe the multiple. So these splitters come in a variety of forms. They could be in a 1 to 4 way, a 1 to 8 way, or maybe even a 1 to 12 way. Um, and they can uh, create problems for the OTDR because they, they have a high uh, loss over them uh, and also create uh, big event dead zones after them. So it's really important that you set your OTD up and, and the pulse width, more importantly, on your OTDR to be able to test through these. And we're going to discuss that now. So from the home page, we're just going to press the toggle button and go into setup. And in the acquisition part, we're going to find the pulse width. So what we'll do, uh, we're going to change this to one meter uh, lengths of light. So that's running at 10 nanoseconds. And for this video, I'll just go down to time and change that from the 30 seconds to 10 seconds, uh, just for, for demonstration purposes. And laser to 1310 just so we can speed this process up so at first glance the trace might look okay but if you look at it it's uh it's only getting as far as uh 600 meters and i've got 1.6 kilometer run so it with this pulse width it's hit the splitter and then hit the noise floor really quick so let's go and change the pulse width now to 200 nanoseconds as it should be for working on the lfm part of the network and take the trace and see if it's any different so you can see now from the second trace, it looks a lot different to the first trace that we took. And I just put a copy of the first trace there in the corner. Um, from here, initially you can see it goes all the way up to 1.6 kilometers, which is, which is correct. And this is because the pulse width now is long enough, the light is long enough to go stretch through the splitters. Uh, and otherwise, if the, the pulse width is too short, it hits the first splitter and hits the noise floor. It just hasn't got the power to go through it. So hopefully now uh, it's very clear that when you're working on the LFN part of the network and you're testing through splitters, it's really important you set your pulse width up correctly on your OTDR. Uh, as we've just seen that if you set it too low, uh, you'll get for, to the first splitter, the multiple or the BJL, um, and, and then it just won't go much further than that. So you're hitting the noise floor before you even get to the FJL. Anyway, so if you've got any more questions on this, you can contact our sales line on 1-800-680-680. Or alternatively, uh, we've got some great information on our website at www.tmg.com.au. Until the next video, goodbye.